for a patient that's out there looking into hair transplantation and what can be done, uh, and they're looking for the ideal approach, I think they need to follow uh, an ideal plan, and that is the I, which is to identify you know, what their goals are and what their expectations are. That begins with a proper consultation you know, with a qualified physician. You know, to spend the time to D, define exactly what it is they're looking to get out of the procedure. Once they've defined that and they have the right expectations, they can explore you know, the options and they should explore the physician's credentials. You know, is the physician uh, a qualified physician? Has he been doing the procedure for over 10 years? Is he board certified in the specialty? You know, is he a diplomat or a member of the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery? Uh, does the physician keep up to date by attending meetings, by lecturing, by going to conventions? This is the way that physicians keep up to date with the latest and greatest procedures. Uh, once they've identified all these different factors, they need to, you know, A, act on their best informed decision, and then they need to look back at the results and then communicate with the physician, you know, for the results that they've obtained. I think it's very important to first and foremost, you know, follow this ideal plan. And it really begins with identifying their goals and their expectations and defining them and, you know, exploring the, you know, physician's, you know, cred credentials and background and making sure that the procedure is right for them and that in the end result, I think it's a procedure that's going to work for them. And then looking back at the great results.